One minute paper is a great formative assessment tool that can be utilized in any classroom setting. One way that it can be utilized in your virtual classroom is a follow-up to the Adobe Connect session that you hold twice a week. If you wanted to utilize this strategy, you could set up a discussion board and you could either create a forum or start. Uh, it's ideal if you go ahead and utilize the seminar that you're already in. Go ahead and create a thread and you know you can name it follow up to Adobe Connect session 3 for example. Go ahead and post in your question. Please provide me with three things that you took away from tonight's lecture on tort. Uh, let's go with criminal law less likely to make a spelling error. So go ahead and set that up and have it ready. And so you have your thread here. What you can do with your edit options is you can hide it. That way it's already done. And this way the students don't have access to it. But you can direct students that after tonight's session you need to go ahead and log into Blackboard and complete the follow-up question. It's going to be available from this time and then of course one minute wouldn't be long enough you'd have to give a longer amount of time let's say five minutes where they get in and the idea is that you're getting the first thing that comes to their mind you're not providing with them the amount of you're not providing them with the amount of time um, to really go dig back through their notes formulate anything like that and you're not looking for that interactive piece with this. You're looking again for that formative assessment piece. What did we take away from this experience? What did I set out to teach you? What did you actually walk away having learned? So you have this ready to go but it's hidden so the students don't have access to it. You go in and you publish it and this makes it so that the students have access to it and then set your timer and provide students with that amount of time to log in and work and then once the time is up go ahead and click on hide again that way they don't have access to it but you can go in and actually look at what their responses were and if you want to you can give feedback to the class as a whole but um, or provide feedback to the students but remember that your idea here isn't to create that threaded discussion deep deep discussion opportunity like you normally do with a discussion board. So that's one way that you could utilize the one-minute paper strategy, learner-centered strategy in your classroom.